Alright, what's good YouTube? It's your man, the son of some man. Who's my son? Son, who's my son? 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 And we are back. Back with a brand new video. What's up guys? What's going on? How is everyone doing? I hope all is well to whoever's tuning in and checking us out today. But if you are brand new, please do me a favor. Feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. Come join the family. Also, if you're brand new, you want to get notified every time we drop a brand new video, all you got to do is hit that little notification bell down below and it'll do exactly that. It'll let you know every time we drop a brand new video. Okay, before we get into the video, I got a few things I want to share with you guys. You guys own Grails. Do you guys have sneakers in your house right now that you want to keep clean, protected, and you do not want them to crumble like the 1991 Air Jordan 6 Carmines? Now, I wish I had this for those, but unfortunately I don't. But now I'm glad I do. This is Cap Soles. See the bag of high quality. The technology, the science behind the bag is amazing. If you want to check out the full works, the detailed you know review of the bag, just click the link at the top of the screen. It'll take you directly to that video. Also, if you want to cop anything with Cap Soles, make sure you use my code at checkout, some men. Save yourself some cash. All right, also, for my man Lewis, the Sneaker Hunter NYC, if you want to check him out, his links will be in the description to his YouTube, his Instagram. Make sure you give him a follow. Like I said, show some support. It's free. You don't always have to pay money. And he decided to send me one of his t-shirts that he just recently made. And you know, things like this, man, you know, I never even met the dude before. Met him through Instagram. Really, really, you know, seems like a real, real genuine guy. Like I said, he's from New York City, so you know how we are. I guess, you know, we hit some kind of connection and like I said, man, it's just, it's just amazing. I, I, I'm at a loss for words. Lewis, I truly, truly appreciate it. You just keep doing what you're doing. And you know, the sky is the limit. But we're gonna take this out. Now this is dope, see, I like this, man. Simple, beautiful t-shirt, bro. Oh, I didn't even see the font on the back. Fire, sneaker hunter, L, S, A. Yeah, this is fire. I'm gonna put this on right now. I'll be right back. And we are back with the Sneaker Hunter LSAT Fire Fire T. Little logo here, but then you got the logo on the back in bigger font, bigger print. Very, very dope. Huge shout out to you, Lewis. I truly, truly appreciate you. All right, guys, let's get into today's video. All right, guys, we are here to talk about the Air Jordan 4 military, I mean, excuse me, industrial blue. How good are these? Well, we're gonna check it out today. Got some on-foot shots today. I didn't really get to do any uh, on-foot review yet, but stay tuned, because that's coming. But anyway, most people were saying these were gonna be shaped like the Jordan 4 SB. And honestly, I don't see that. I see this as just an original Air Jordan 4. You know what I'm saying? Now they are going to retail for about two hundred and fifteen dollars, and I just, I just had to have this, you know, I just had to have this shoe, man. Loving the way the shoe is. Now you see the plastic here up here. I never really liked it, so eventually I'm going to change it to that uh, chain metal look. Uh, I just like it better. The plastic is, uh, it just comes with it, but me personally, I like the chain, the chain look. I think the chain came with the bread fours as well. But yeah, man, as for overall sizing, they fit just like any other Air Jordan 4. So I would say personally true to size. These are size 11 and they fit really, really well. Now the overall material on it, I wouldn't go too crazy. I mean, it's not too crazy, excuse me. It's not tumbled, it's not a tumble leather. It's got some texture to it, but it's nothing like the bread reimagined. Obviously that was a reimagined, so. I guess they really went hard on that, which they should have did this too. I'm, I mean, like they said, they're trying to recreate the 89 and you know, I wasn't born. I mean, I was born in 89, but I was also four years old, three years old, four years old around there. And, uh, you know, I never seen an original pair, but you know, this pair is super, super, super fire. I'm really, really digging this pair. I, like I said, I did take some on foot shots. So if you want to check out my Instagram, Links will be in the description. Make sure you check me out. Uh, I match everything with my 8 and 9 clothing. You want to check them out. Also, their links will be in the description as well. Make sure you use my code SOMEMAN. Save yourself a few dollars off, you know, off your entire purchase. 
But anyway, what do you guys think of the Air Jordan 4? Military, I mean industrial blue. Now that too, man, like I was explaining in the last video, why would they go and change the name? I mean, I get it. They're trying to get, you know, match the same blue as uh, the 89 pair, which I mentioned. They, they obviously have the blue in the archives, the color. And uh, I think that's what they were going for. Like I said, it's much darker blue. Now I have, I told you, I got these militaries. You see the blue is... Well, this is kind of green now. This is totally different. This is the 2006 pair, is it, or the 12? No, two, well, it says 2011, 2012. Yeah, this is the 2012 pair. So this is the second retro. And uh, I told you I, I gutted this one for the white cements, which I still have to make a video on cleaning them up and make They're wearable, but painting them, putting the splatters on it. And let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see that video. Because uh, I, I had fun making the first video. And uh, I wanted to know if you guys liked it or not. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see a video like that. Me painting my own shoes. <laughs> I never really was one for painting shoes. Do houses and whatnot, like my own and whatnot. But shoes, I never really got into it. There's, there's a lot of uh, patience. And me personally, I don't have much patience. <laughs> and you know, the Nike Air on the back is just the icing on the cake. It's just not the same with the, you know, the Jumpman, you know, the Jordan I just showed you guys. It's just, it, it's, it's just not the same. You just don't get the same vibe off it. I know this pair is beat the crap, <laughs> but it's just not the same. You know what I'm saying? This, you know, this Nike Air is original, super iconic. That's what we love. That's what I love, at least. What do you guys like? What is your favorite part about the shoe? Or is this even a favorite, you know, shoe that is dropping this year? Please, let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. I truly value them. Also, guys, make sure you stay tuned because I will be doing a detailed review and on foot of this sneaker here. I'm just trying to get, get it a little bit closer to the release date, you know what I'm saying? Just to give you guys that video. But, uh, like I said, I give you a little bit of a taste of it right here in today's video. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section where you'll be picking up the Air Jordan 4 Industrial Military, whatever you want to call it, Blue. I know I will be. I'm copping. Definitely doubling up. This might even maybe a triple up. You know what I'm saying? Just a very, very far issue that we're probably not going to see again for another 10 to 15 years. So if you ain't got it and you want it, make sure you grab it because it's not going to be easy. You know what I'm saying? But guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Have yourself a great week. Have yourself a great rest of your Monday. Till next time, it is your man, the son of some man, and I'm out, guys. Peace.